Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit in conjunction with Legally Armed in Detroit presents personal protection tips. This is a feature that we produce and distribute in our social media space to our followers and listeners to impart to them one personal safety tip that they can use and incorporate into their daily daily existence to make them a safer person you know with all the things that exist in our lives and in the world just one safety tip can mean the difference between being safe and not being safe so in every episode we do one tip use it and incorporate it and hopefully you will get some benefit of this tip and look at our other tips and incorporate as many tips as possible to overall improve your personal safety and health. Before we talk about today's all new personal protection personal safety tip let me just take a few seconds mere seconds to ask you that if you personally enjoyed this video that if it was of some practical benefit to you or for you that you press the like button actually I wish that they would change it to the love button but uh, for now let it suffice press the like button to show your support for this video also please feel free to leave us a comment at the bottom under the video and if after watching this video and possibly some of our other videos you like what we're doing go ahead and subscribe so that you do not miss any notifications of any new videos that we produce and promote in social media so let's go ahead and get started with today's tip Today's personal protection, personal safety tip is do not wear gear that limits your vision, particularly your side or peripheral vision. Your side vision or peripheral vision is often something that we take for granted because we don't really use it intentionally it's one of those things that the brain and the eye they do simultaneously together and when something presents itself then we receive the appropriate stimulus to take corrective action a key tenet of personal protection is to always be aware of your environment and also be aware of potential hazards or dangers to your safety. A definite danger to your safety is a bad guy. A bad guy literally waiting in the wings. He's probably wearing a hoodie himself (laughs) also, but that's probably because he wants to obscure certain facial or physical features would would impair your ability to fully describe him to law enforcement but anyway as such wearing a hoodie may compromise your ability to see looming and approaching threats to your safety as such these threats could imperil you. A person wearing a hoodie will have his peripheral vision extremely limited. And I don't think a lot of people really truly appreciate peripheral vision. I think people who do uh, appreciate peripheral vision or loss of peripheral vision would be someone that has suffered a stroke. And yeah, uh, you couldn't tell, thank God, that uh, 
I had a stroke a couple of years ago and I can tell you that your side and your peripheral vision are definitely impacted. Uh, it is something that you have to uh, get used to and with training and experience you're aware of those blind spots and you take appropriate actions such as constantly scanning or panning to make sure that you're not missing anything. Incidentally this is what you should be doing when looking for threats. Your normal unobscured vision in conjunction and in tandem with your side and peripheral vision can make you aware of potential looming threats. One thing you definitely should not do, you should not be driving or operating a motor vehicle while wearing a hoodie. You know, it, it sounds uh, very common sense, but uh, many people are not aware as to how much vision they're actually missing when you wear a hoodie. One of the practical reasons why people wear hoodies, man, is that uh, they're comfortable, they're fashionable, everybody's wearing them, and they're warm. And yeah, if it gets cold, you can always pull the hoodie, the hood part, over your head. The key thing that people don't realize is that when you do that, as I've said in this video, you're obstructing your vision and, of course, you're impairing your ability to see peripherally and that's creating an opportunity for bad guys to attack you. A much better solution. Go ahead and wear the hoodie, but don't actually pull the hoodie over your head. Wear instead, you can still wear the hoodie, in conjunction with the hoodie, a cap, a baseball cap or one of those knit roll-up foldable caps. I don't know if there's a word for it, but you know those regular fold-up knit caps that you can just pull over your head and over your ears. It may not be as warm as a hood on a hoodie, well, let me tell you, it's warm and it gets the job done and it does not obscure your vision and it does not prevent you from seeing incoming threats that could be imperiling your safety. Thus, I implore you, stay warm. However, be safe. Don't wear the hood on your hoodie. Put on a ball cap or a baseball cap. Stay warm, be safe, take care. This has been Rick Ector with Personal Protection and Safety Tips.